Welcome to the weekly Gambling News Roundup. The news today is brought to you by PlaySlotsForRealMoney.com, that's the numeral 4, and EasyMobileCasino.com. Subscribe to our newsletter to get the latest news and bonus codes delivered to you weekly. For the most recent online casino ratings and slot machine reviews, stop by CasinoSlotsMoney.com. Please take a moment to give this podcast a five-star rating on whatever podcast platform you're on. It means a lot to us, and it's very easy to rate and review us. It really goes a long way and helps people find us. Also, feel free to view the links below, which are helpful resources. In the first story, Michael Jordan purchases equity stake in DraftKings. Former NBA superstar and longtime entrepreneur Michael Jordan has recently purchased an undisclosed equity stake in the U.S. sportsbook DraftKings. He'll also serve on the company's board as a special advisor. He is the current owner and chairman of the Charlotte Hornets franchise in the NBA. The news of this arrangement drove up the share price of DraftKings more than 7%. As of September 2nd, it was trading at $39.60 a share. DraftKings went public in April following a three-way merger. SB Tech and Diamond Eagle Acquisition Corp. were the other two partners. The principal business is legal U.S. sports betting. Next up, the NFL offers sponsorship opportunities for sports betting. The NFL took a hard-line stance against sports betting for years. On the eve of the 2020 season, the league has opened its doors to the emerging U.S. market. Companies such as DraftKings and FanDuel have quickly become market leaders. FanDuel formed a strategic marketing partnership with the Denver Broncos earlier this year. The NFL voted to allow individual team sponsorships in May, and Denver was the first to take advantage. More deals are expected to close in the coming months. The Raiders will be making the move from Oakland to Las Vegas this season. Allegiant Stadium is in close proximity to the very famous Las Vegas Strip. In the next story, eSports Games draws negative attention through loot boxes. Multiple lawsuits are in the works over the concept of loot boxes in certain video games. They've been compared to Las Vegas-style slot machines. This would make them illegal under certain state laws such as California. Loot boxes are digital grab bags for virtual enhancements. However, they need to be purchased as a source of revenue enhancement. Popular video games such as Fortnite, Brawl Stars, and Madden NFL have been specifically identified in these lawsuits. Game manufacturers including EA Sports, Epic Games, and Supercell Oi. Gaming platforms such as Google and Apple are also involved. The last story, Shinnecock Indian Nation formed new partnership for New York casino plans. Since 2010, the Shinnecock Indian Nation has pursued plans for a New York casino. However, to date, it has not been in the cards. A recent partnership with Seminole Hard Rock Entertainment could change the tribe's luck. Also involved in this new partnership is local developer Tri-State Partners. The plans include a world-class entertainment destination. The initiative seeks to further the nation's inherent sovereignty through economic growth and development. Part of the process is the development of a contract with New York. This covers a formal agreement for revenue sharing as well as the location and casino plans. Remember to visit PlaySlotsForRealMoney.com That's the numeral 4 and EasyMobileCasino.com Subscribe to our newsletter to get the latest news and bonus codes delivered to you weekly for more updates. Please share this podcast on social networks. Remember, for the most recent online casino ratings and slot machine reviews, stop by CasinoSlotsMoney.com. Also, feel free to view the links below, which are very helpful resources. That's your weekly Gambling News Roundup.